my thoughts on the Blitzkrieg strategy. If you've studied history in the past, you most likely know about the strategy that German Axis powers used to defeat the Allied powers in Europe with a quick and decisive victory. I like to be thinking about work and career as war, since you increase the perceived importance of the thing and take it more seriously. Awesome, so the way how it works with skills is that every next skill that you acquire makes you more and more valuable. If we created a value scale where on one side you have the number of skills you have and on the other side you have your total market value, then the right side compounds. 1 plus 1 might equal 3. 5 high income skills or highly valuable skills might give you a total of 25. The problem that most people experience when they're trying to get better at certain skills is that they do everything very slowly. They make a decision to acquire a new skill and do just the minimum effective volume, which doesn't maximize the gains. You must take it at the opposite extreme. If you would focus all of your energy energy and go all in on just one skill that will give you the highest ROI. And if you will go all in just for a period of week, you would learn the majority of the foundational skills that you need to learn in order to create value for other people or businesses. Give yourself more permission to do mistakes, as many mistakes as it takes to get good at it. Most people are afraid of failing. They hate it because they think that it just damages their reputation. But it doesn't. Not making enough mistakes limits you from achieving your full potential. If you're achieving all the goals you've set for for yourself. Then you're aiming heck too low. A few months ago, I read that Google has a policy when setting the OKRs, objectives and key results, that they should strive to achieve 40 to 60% of all of their goals for every single year. If they achieve higher percentage of goals, they know they're making it too easy for themselves and they should aim higher. If they're achieving fewer goals than 40%, they know that they're pushing too hard on themselves and should rather consider setting more realistic targets. So again, speed is extremely important. Even though many people hate and rotate, he was talking talking about the same concept. Many other people did that as well. If you're managing a team, make the new end of week deadline until the end of the day. Maybe even screw it to do it within the next hour and have it ready. The ability to execute seamlessly and do high quality work is what makes the difference. Do things fast. Many times it could be taking you way, way more time overthinking everything multiple times than to actually sit down and finish the work that you have in your hands. Don't think, just act. It's same as in the scene from Top Gun Maverick. This one. Come on, Matt. Don't think. Just do. There are so many great concepts that I found in that movie that I later applied. Okay guys, so I would like to summarize this video here. As of now, I have nothing to sell you. I'm writing an academic paper at my university, applying for a master's degree and working on a few of my clients. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message on my Instagram. See you in the next bit. Bye.